Senator, will you support a bill that guarantees the equal rights to marriage for anybody regardless of their gender? Yeah, the chances of gay marriage being outlawed is zero. The chances that Nancy Pelosi will endorse me in my Senate re-election are higher than the chances of that going anywhere. I don't think we should be spending time on a non-issue and a non-problem. It's as simple as that. I just don't. Not when people are paying $4.66 for gas. Not when inflation and prices for some of the most basic goods and services in our country are crushing middle-class Americans. Not when we have a border crisis where 7,000 people a day are entering our country illegally and fentanyl is killing people with overdoses. Uh, these are serious problems that we're facing in our country and they're all being ignored and we're wasting time on non-existent problems. This is just not real. It's a fake problem. Should it come to a vote though in the Senate, would it I don't vote for fake problems. I don't vote to solve problems that don't exist. It's important for the priorities of the people in Washington to be the priorities of the people that sent us there. There is zero chance, zero, below zero chance that the Supreme Court or anyone is going to outlaw gay marriage in this country. It's just not, not going to happen and everyone knows it and they know it. But they don't want to talk about inflation. They don't want to talk about immigration. They don't want to talk about uh, the challenges facing our country with crime, rampant crime. Cities like Portland, you can't even visit these cities anymore. The people are fleeing them because you have prosecutors that won't prosecute crimes. They don't want to talk about any of that. They want to distract people with these non-existent problems. It's become a pattern, and it's why I believe voters are going to punish them in a few months. Why would you answer that question directly? It's a simple yes or no. About what? Take come to you. I already told you, I don't, vote for, I don't vote for bills that deal with non-existent That's issues. The same That's a no, I told you that. I, I don't, how is that a non-existent answer? It's, it's I don't vote for bills that solve non-existent problems. This is a bill that solves non-existent problems. Yes, sir. Will you expand on your interaction with Senator Tammy Hall earlier this week? What do you mean, interaction? Um, after you said that the uh, vote of, of, for a bill for a gay of marriage would be a waste of time. Uh -huh. What do you mean by interaction? Oh yeah, it's her bill. She supports the bill, obviously. Tammy Baldwin's one of the nicest people in the Senate. We've worked with her on a bunch of issues. Um, obviously, she supports her bill. She wants a chance. I told her I don't think it's a real issue. I don't think there's any threat. She believes differently, and I told her I'd hear her out, and we'll talk more. I have tremendous respect for Tammy. She's a great senator, but I don't know. I mean, that was the interaction, but I, there was nothing unique about it. Um, 